The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am D. John Stanley, your mathematics teacher. In this lesson, we will start by looking at the correction of the assignments that we had in the previous lesson. Question 1. In the figure, EFGH is a, para, is a trapezium in which HG is equal to 2EF. Given that EH is equal to vector Vector EH is equal to Q and vector EF is equal to P. Find FG. So look at the diagram. We are looking for FG. So vector FG is the same as we move from F to E, from E to H and from H to G. We've arrived at G. E, F, E. The fact that F, E is in the opposite from F to E is in the opposite direction of this arrow. We can reverse it. So we say negative E, F. Then plus E, H. Is the, the, the arrow is going downward, so that one is okay. E H. Then H G. We have no arrow here, there is no, no vector indicated here. So we go back to the question. H G is equal to 2 E F. So we replace H G with 2 E F, 2 vector E F. So here we have 2 E F. This are uh, like like terms, so we can simplify that. Negative EF plus 2EF will give us EF, vector EF plus vector EH, which we now replace. Vector EF is vector P plus EH is vector Q. So we've obtained vector FG as P plus Q. Let's move on to the next question. The figure is a vector diagram where vector OA is equal to vector small a, vector OB is equal to vector B. And we are also told that BE is the same as 2OA. So find AE. Let's look at AE. To move from A and come to E, we will move down this way and then come up this way. The reason why we are coming down, coming up this way by following B E is because we have information here. There is nothing this way that we know. So we are saying that vector A E is equal to A O plus O B plus B E. This one vector A O is against the arrow. So we reverse it by saying negative OA plus vector OB. That one is in the direction of the arrow, OB. Then plus BE. Now BE, we are told is 2OA. So we replace that with 2OA. This time now as a vector. 
So when we simplify this, we have vector OA plus vector OB. And OA is small a plus OB. So when we do that, we end up with AE as vector A plus B. As we move on, we want to remind ourselves of the fact that we are in the module plane geometry. So far, we are looking at vectors in two dimensions. After that, we will look at simple transformations, loci, in geometrical construction. Under vectors in two dimensions, we've looked at, so far we've done uh, definition and representation of vectors, we've done operations on vectors, we've seen angle between two vectors, and in the last lesson we started vector geometry, which we are still continuing in this lesson. And then after that we will see midpoint theorem and proportional division of vectors. So this lesson is titled Vector Geometry Ratios. So in this case, we will see how ratios play a part in vector geometry. The plan of the lesson is as follows. We'll start with the objectives of the lesson. Then we'll see the prerequisites. A real life situation. We'll go into a learning activity and then have an application exercise and wrap up the lesson with an assignment. Let's get started. The objective of this lesson is that by the end of the lesson, as learners, you should be able to use the concept of ratio to express a vector in terms of other vectors. To effectively study this lesson, we need, you need to be comfortable in expressing a vector in terms of other vectors, like what we did in the last lesson. So let's look at this uh, short question and see if we can re remind or refresh our minds with this idea of representing vectors in, other, in terms of other vectors. Using the diagram above, express vector BA in terms of vector A and B. Vector BA means we move from B until we arrive at A. But again, we cannot pass through this path because there is no arrow here, so no vector definition is given for this path. B, A. So we move from B to O and from O to A. From B to O, we are moving against the arrow, so it will become negative O, B. And then after that, we move O, A. So when we do that, B, A will be equal to negative B plus A, which is the same as A minus B. You see how I have decided to re rearrange them in such a way that A comes first and this negative B is here so that we don't make a mistake and forget the negative sign. Now, look at this real-life situation. Ami and Tom are playing Bill, which is a game of spheres. And in the game, each person is supposed to start at point B, pushes a sphere into a hole which is at point O. How can PO be expressed in terms of A and B, given that cure O is to OR is equal to 1 is to 2. You will reflect on that problem and then we will revisit it within the lesson. Learning activity. Let's look at this learning activity. We have a triangle OAB in such the triangle OAB is such that OA, vector OA is equal to small a and vector OP is equal to B. And M is a point on AB such that AM is to MB is 2 is to 1. Express, the first task will be for us to express vector AB in terms of A and B. We'll also be expected to express AM and BM in terms of A and B. Then we'll express OM, a displacement from O to M in terms of vectors A and B. We'll do it in two ways. First, through point A and then through point B and draw a conclusion from this or from that. Let's look at the solution now. The first task is for us to do 
uh, to express A, B in terms of vectors A and B. So look at that vector. Vector A, B. We will do, we will come this way and then go that way. So So we have a b vector a b is a o plus o b, which is negative o a plus o b. And let me just say so that if I if as we go on I do that it shouldn't be a problem. If you remember when we were doing vector representation, we saw that any vector a b can be written as O, the second letter, that's OB minus OA. So you can comfortably do this without any difficulty and it comes from here too. So now vector B, OB is vector B minus OA, which is vector A. So now we will be able to do AB, which gives us B minus A. In the second case, we want to do express A, M and, M and B, M in terms of A and B. Now, let's look at this question. We are told that M is such that A, M is to M, B is equal to 2 is to 1. So, what happens is that we have a ratio here. This distance A, M is to M, B gives us this which means AM is twice as long as MB. So if we divide AB into three equal parts, AM will be twice as long as MB. What does that mean? You heard me say divide into three equal parts. That three can be obtained from up here, what we call sum of ratio. So our sum of ratio is three. And since AM is twice as long as MB, it means that AM vector AM is the same as 2 out of the 3, which is the sum of ratio, times the entire length or the, times the entire vector for that uh, 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 line segment AB. So it will be times AB, like this. So AB is the entire vector. AM is a portion of it and it is 2 to 10 of that entire length, which is 2 over 3 into vector AB is B minus A. So we have expressed AM in terms of A and B. Next is BM. BM is the same idea, but this time, oh sorry, BM. Yes, BM, we look here, we see that this portion for MB is 1, as a ratio of 1. So it will be 1 over 3. But there is something we have to take note of. So we have 1 all over 3. BM means we are moving up this way. But the vector we have already calculated, AB. AB is from up this way and going towards B. So if we want to move do BM in the opposite direction to AB, then there should be a negative sign. Negative 1 over 3 into times AB, the entire length, which is negative 1 third into B minus A. So for AM, we have 2 third into B minus A, and for BM, we have one, negative one third into B minus A. Okay, let's look now at the next one. We want to look at, to express OM, a displacement from O to M in terms of A and B, but we'll do first by passing through A. That's to say that we are doing the vector vector OM 
will be O A plus A A M. So O A is vector A. A M. We've already calculated A M as two third into B minus A. So we simplify that. When we open this bracket, we have a vector a minus two thirds a, and that gives us one third a plus two thirds b. One third a plus two thirds b. That's the vector o m. When we do it passing through a, let's do it now passing through b. That will give us vector o m as O B plus B M vector O B is B plus vector B M we saw that vector B M was negative one third so we write negative one third into B minus A when we open the brackets this will be B minus one third B that gives us two third b minus one third a. Okay, when we open this bracket, this negative and this negative, when they multiply, will have positive. So it gives us this, which can also be written as one third vector a plus two third vector b. If we look at the two answers, they are the same. So it ties with the fact that we can conclude that OM has the same expression is irrespective of the path that we follow. So we can always obtain the same displacement vector even if we use different uh, displacement, some or difference of two displacement vectors. So what can we recall from here? We want to say that given that the point, if we are given a point, P, which divides a line segment AB in the ratio M is to N, then vector AP will be M all over the sum of the ratios times AB, which is the entire length, and PB will be equal to N all over M plus N times AB. If you want to see it well, let me show you with this sketch. This is a line segment, AB. If there is a point on the line segment, AB, and that point is P, and P divides AB in the ratio M is to N, then this distance, AB, or the vector AB, rather, is a fraction of the entire vector AB. And that fraction is M, the ratio that has to do with AAB all over the sum, M plus N, all of it times vector AB, while PB is equal to N all over M plus N times vector AB. So that's what we will have. Now, for us to appropriate exactly and correctly what we have learned, let's look at this application exercise. We'll start with the real life situation. We were told that Amy and Tom were playing a game and each person had to move his fare from this point P up to this point uh, O. And it was how can we express PO in terms of A and B given that O cure, cure O is to OR is equal to 1 is to 2. We have just seen how we can apply um, ratios. So if we look at the sum of the ratios, we describe as 1 plus 2, which is 3. So if I want to express PO, PO 
vector PO. Sorry. PO. Vector PO is equal to PR plus RO. This is not the only part. We've seen that we can use different parts. So we can also have PQ plus QO. So if we are using this, what will that mean? PR. We have PR, which is given, plus RQ. RQ, sorry, RO. RO is like this. Here we have OR. RO is a fraction of RQ. And RO will be taking the ratio 2. So it's 2 over 3 times R cure. So we have R PR. PR is vector B plus 2 thirds vector R cure. Now vector R cure is to move from R and arrive at cure going this way, which is negative B plus A which I can also write as A minus B. And what does that give us? If we open the brackets, this will be 2 third into that. So B minus 2 third B will give us 1 third B plus 2 third A. So, what we've done here, what I've done here is that QR, we've already obtained QR first. Oh, there is something that we need to take note of here. Q, if we look at what I've done, let me go back a bit. We had RQ. RQ is negative B because we have RP, negative B. But when we look from P to Q, the arrow is in this direction, which means that we are moving against this arrow. So it cannot be plus A. It should be negative A. So it was negative B minus A. So here we should instead have negative A. We are moving against the two arrows, so we have negative there. And in that case, if we come here, we'll have B plus, when we open this bracket, we'll have negative 2 third uh, B. And that gives us, if we have 1 plus 2 third, or rather 1 minus 2 third, it gives us 1 third B minus 2 third A. So we have something like that. So here we first of all obtain QR as A plus B. To move from Q to R, you move this way and move this way. So it gives you A plus B. Next, we say sum of ratio is 3. So Q O from Q up to O will be one third of QR. One third of QR gives us one third of A plus B. Now PO is equal to PQ plus QO. So in this solution we are following by this part, Q, PQ plus QO, not the other part. But we discover that it gives us the same answer. So when we do that and we substitute what we have already calculated, that's QO and PQ. When we do that, we have one third B minus two third A. Let's look at the second question. In the figure, OA is equal to A, vector OB is equal to B, and vector OC is equal to two over five vector B. Express in terms of A and B, first vector CB, and secondly vector BA. Okay, vector C, B. Let's look at the diagram. C, B means we move from C and stop at B. 
But let's look at something. From O to C and C to B constitute the vector OB. What does that mean? It means I can write vector OC plus vector CB is equal to vector OB. We are looking for CB and CB by vector algebra will be OB minus OC. OB is vector B and OC is 2 over 5 vector B. And when we simplify this, we have 3 over 5 vector B. That's our vector CB. We also have other questions C and D. So let's, the first one, CB, we end up with 3 over 5 vector B. Okay. Let's look at vector BA. BA means we are moving from B and stopping at A. And we can move from here to here and then here. Since there is an, the original O is here, we can use our, we can say BA is equal to O, the second letter, OA minus OB. A, vector A, OA is A minus B. This vector BA. That's A minus B. We have this, uh, this exactly that. Okay, now look at this. They say point D. D is the point, or you say point BA. Which divides G is the point or a point on BA, which divides BA in the ratio 3 is to 2. Express in terms of A and B vector BD. Vector BD. So vector BD means that we are we when we get the sum of ratio, it gives us 5. BT, look at this. We are told that G divides BA in the ratio 3 is to 2. So it means this distance BT is 3. Uh, its own ratio is 3. So it's 3 all over 5 times BA, which will give you 3 over 5 into A minus B. Next, we want to look for CD. The vector CD means we move from C to O, which is the same as negative OC when we move backwards. Then after that we have OA, and then from A to D. We need this AD. We are told that we know that AD is a fraction of BA. O of AB. But since we have BA and AD is moving in the opposite direction of BA, we say negative. Now, the ratio was that of 3 is to 2. So, AD is 2 over 5 times BA. And that gives us CD to be equal to negative OC plus OA minus 2 over 5 BD. Sorry, BA. Negative OC is negative 2 over 5 B plus A. Vector OA, that's A. Minus 2 over 5 vector BA, which is A minus B. And then we simplify that. If we take this and open the bracket, this negative will multiply this negative. So vector B will be negative 2 third to 2 over 5B plus 2 over 5B. So that one cancels out. Then vector A minus 2, 2 over 5A. It will give us 3 over 5 vector A. So, first we obtain 80 here, 
And then next, we've solved for use this AD to solve for CD, which gives us 3 over 5A. Good. So, um, to keep you active and to be able for, for you to be able to verify if you understood what we've done uh, properly, uh, here is an assignment that you will look at. We have the first one here, we have this geometrical diagram, and we are expected to find vector OR. So you look at that. And then question two, we also have a diagram there. And then we have these vectors to look for, vector PR, vector QR. And so we've come to the end of our lesson. And in the next lesson, we'll still be looking at vector geometry. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyum, una tege majang ma tege ndom, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndom, esa kina bia jinki do, mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen